We're building better brothers and fathers and leaders for our communities. And the entire organization, the faculty, the staff, the parents, the students are all committed to that goal. Thinking flexibly, being able to change one's perspective, meaning how you see things. So this week's Habit of Mind is Thinking Flexibly, and we'll use that theme throughout the week. The 16 Habits of Mind become a, a foundational uh, tool, and so it, it really helps develop their character and, and, and builds them into the, the young men that we uh, would like to put out into society that, that we call Obama men. The moment we walked into Barack Obama, it was like we walked into a hollow hallway. There was some magic here that you just cannot describe just from walking through the door. My mom, um, after, the, my, after my, only my sixth grade year, she said that she saw a difference in the way that we carried ourselves and the way that we spoke. She saw that we were becoming young men at a very young age. Beyond Royal? Beyond Royal? Beyond Royal? For the last three years, we've had a 100% uh, graduation rate with 100% of our young men being accepted to four-year colleges and universities. One thing we take pride in, not only to develop uh, the academic strengths and uh, growth of the young men, but ultimately how they are growing socially and emotionally. The teachers and the staff, they all, it feels like a family. Um, you know, we call each other brothers, and it's not just a facade. We, I actually feel like I have a sense of brotherhood amongst my peers at this school. Uh, they understand that this is a shared journey, a shared experience, uh, that they're ultimately growing together. I used, to, I used to be a shy kid, uh, normally in my old school, in middle school, but uh, with this school it changed, I changed so drastically as a leader because now I'm more confident, now I'm more involved in the activities, that's why I'm doing this um, program during the summer, to teach young kids how to uh, thrive in this environment. Good luck. So the purpose of the tug of war that we're going to have in the afternoon is basically, you know, to teach them about teamwork, teach them about brotherhood, teach them about competition, teach them about friendliness. There's a need for this school in our city uh, when we understand and look at uh, what's happening in society. Uh, there's a transformation that uh, we have to initially create within the lives of the young men to see that they're not just statistics and to break cycles of poverty, to break cycles of homelessness, to break cycles of single parents. You are looking for images that serve as symbols for your character. What's another word there for character? diamonds in the rough uh, that come from all sectors of our city and that ultimately uh, given an opportunity and given a chance uh, through a strong education, through uh, support from their families and the community, uh, we truly can make a better world for tomorrow. Part of the formula that Principal Douglas learned about when he spoke with people at schools like this one all over the country and in fact around the world, he learned that there is a formula to, for success for these schools and it includes community participation. So there's right now about a quarter of a million dollar gap between what our visionary school leaders want for these young men and what the Dallas Independent School District can afford. Our organization stands in the gap between what the district can afford and what these students really need. So there's several different ways that we, that we rely heavily on the support from the Friends of Barack Obama Male Leadership Academy. Number one would be resources, things that we need on a daily basis to enhance the educational environment that our students are in. What about you? Have you done Secondly, professional development so that our teachers can attend conferences to help enhance their craft. Uh, lastly, student enrichment, being able to travel abroad, being able to take college visits and, and, and internships and things of that nature that will really uh, propel them into the world of, of academia on the, on the higher education level. I see their futures. I see them being the brothers and fathers and leaders that our community desperately, desperately needs. I see them wanting that and believing that they can achieve it. What I want people to know, what I want my family to know is that their sacrifices weren't in vain. Um, I want them to know all the struggles, all the countless hours that they um, poured into me, they invested into me. Um, it wasn't in vain. It's, uh, it's well worth it. And that's what I plan to show them when I walk across that stage, both in high school and in college. Thank you.